I'm Ripa Transone. We're in one of our favorite places in the world, Bob and Gina's house on the Italian countryside. So we were here earlier in July and we've come back to plan our Vespa tour, which we'll be telling you about in later videos. But today we are harvesting grapes here on Bob and Gina's vineyard. We have no clue what we're doing. <laughs> we're picking grapes. And I'm eating pizza that we made in the wood burning oven last night for breakfast. Two days to harvest, almost. Just the picorino. Just the picorino. Wow. Two and a half. Yeah. We had that last little yeah. section we had away from. And there were a lot of, uh, there were what, six, seven of us? It was a cloud, you'd say. Oh, I the see. two Albanians. We've got our bucket, we have our clippers, we have our rubber boots, and we are heading down into the vineyard. The tractor's waiting for us. From what I understand, we walk behind the tractor, we clip the grapes off, we throw the grapes into the bucket, and then we throw the bucket into the bigger bucket that's on the back of the tractor. Also, busted these babies back out. The work is starting. <laughs> yeah. Only grapes, no fingers. <laughs> and you're just, you're just take your they don't pay any extra for fingers. You, do it, yeah. or you just pull off all the clusters, okay. and throw, them, throw them in the bucket, and then when your bucket's full, we put it in the, the trailer on the tractor. All right, I'm gonna stop videoing, get in there. How's it going? Feeling strong. We're on vine number three? Four. Four? Of just 74. Oh, this is a good one. Um, doesn't want to come off. You look like a pro. <laughs> yes! The tractor's running away. Thirteen more vines to go. It'd be easier if you didn't build this on a hill. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. We started around 8.30 and we've done eight of the 17 vines. So we're almost halfway. Time is flying. I just have to keep looking up and reminding myself where I am right now and what we're doing. It is now about 3 p.m. We just finished harvesting 17 rows of grapes. Took about a total of five hours with a small lunch break in between, and we almost got an entire trailer load of grapes. I'm so proud of us. So 17 rows is only a portion of their vineyard, but it's the red portion that goes to the co-op. Which is right On the there. other side of the hill. And so the co-op is basically a place, I think, that you can sell your grapes and then they make wine out of everybody's grapes from around here that sells their grapes to the co-op. So that's where we're going now. Is that right? Yeah. My co-op description? Yes, that is. Y'all ready? We're ready, boy. Let's hit the road. Making me look bad, we're not putting that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> over and they pour it into this giant metal container that has two corkscrews in it 
that pushes all of the grapes into some kind of press D skimmer machine. Basically, in like two minutes, all of those grapes that we picked have been de skimmed, and basically, it's just the skins and the seeds and the juice that remain now. And then all the skins are shot down the conveyor belt and they go over to a big compost pile. It's crazy. So cool to get to see just like the entire process from now on, every single time we drink a bottle of wine. We will like, have so much more appreciation for the hard work that goes in to that one bottle. Whether it's good or not, there's a lot of hard work that went into it. Okay, we're going to guess the weight. Well, you all are going to guess it. I know the answer. The weight in kilograms that we picked today. I don't want to guess first. Yeah, you have to. No, yeah. I don't know. I'm really bad at kilograms. I don't know. I need some time. Okay, give me, some, give me a minute. Turn off the camera. No. <laughs> Just don't rush me. She takes guessing very seriously. <laughs> 573. 573 kilograms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sweet baby Gina. Nate. Me? I go before yeah. you? Yeah. I already said my guess was 500. So that was a really good guess. 573, 500. It's unfair because I would have gone like 700. Why not? Okay, I'm gonna go 700 because that's what I was gonna guess before they guessed. Now I wanna lower it, but I'm gonna stick with 700. <laughs> 300 members and the average size of the farm is about two hectares and I think a hectare is close to two acres for those of you who live in America and so basically you have 600 hectares. So the co-op basically allows people whose farms are too small to like really do their own commercial wine to be able to bring it here and get paid for the grapes and either make money or at least break even on growing grapes during the year. So it's a pretty cool setup. Bob woke up at 4.30 this morning to put this pork shoulder in the oven that we used last night for pizza and it has some kind of chipotle rub on it. We're checking the temp now and it smells amazing. Temp's perfect. Yes. We'll just leave it in here till we need it. Great. What are we doing with it? Tonight we're making pork tacos! We hope you enjoyed this vlog that was completely devoted to wine. We obviously find this very fascinating and we hope you do too. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know about a new post that we just published over on our website. It's our quarter three income and expense report. It's right here on the blog. In this post, we show you exactly how much money we made and where it came from in quarter three of 2017. And we also go into exactly how much money we spent. In this post, we show you exactly how we made $10,493 in quarter three. And we also break down our expenses for the entire quarter from transportation to accommodations and spending at destinations. So if you're interested in stuff like this, head over, go check it out. There'll be a link in the description below.